My name's Kate Cottrell. I am the founder and CEO of Altry Drama. We produce the play Squad Goals, which tours secondary schools. They end up telling lots of stories about their lives, about the issues that they have connected to things like confidence, body image, and family issues with mental health and, and um, mental illness. Um, and then this key story comes out, which is about Jamie, a rugby player. And then he has a career ending injury. Um, and everything changes and he becomes depressed, isolated, um, very, very lost and he never talks to anybody and he ultimately um, takes his, his own life. And that allows us to talk about lots of issues around mental health and wellbeing and to give lots of important information, particularly around talking, around listening, around supporting people and about asking questions about suicide and about mental health, no matter how difficult those questions are. Most of the children in the schools that we've gone in have been crying, haven't they, during the performances. Um, when it comes to the end of the show and everybody gets up and leaves, there's been a few kids who wanted to stay sat. I think sort of initiating the teachers to come over to them straight away. The support's been there from yeah. the teachers and teaching assistants. So they've had the opportunity to speak about whatever's on their mind, whether the performance has just affected them or whether there's been something sp specific in their life and the performance has triggered something in their head that they want to talk to, to the teachers. Yeah. So that's been really lovely to see that and to see the support go straight over. You know, I've had students that have come up to me and they've never spoke about or something's happened to them recently that, that they haven't been able to have the strength to speak about and then this mm. performance has got them spe speaking and talking to each other. Yeah. And, and that is so, so refreshing and it, then that points, puts the point across to me and to everybody else that it is actually working and it is getting kids talking. Yeah. I reckon the performance, especially from a teacher, like a teacher and a parent of three girls, that performance was amazing. Had me in tears. <laughs> um, I actually would hope that my kids, especially my eldest, would hopefully use that in their school because it's a really good program. If we've got the power of being Warrington Wolves to influence and promote mental health around the community, we've got to take it on board and run with it. Most definitely, get it around the schools, have a, get the young kids talking about it, start them early with this, start the resilience side of it early. Uh, and, you know, and it's a really good idea and uh, you know, it's something that should be, uh, should be put into schools on a regular basis. As a sport, we are really at the forefront of all things mental fitness. And when you look at some of the issues that are arising within the game and also within our community, it's really important to open up those conversations at all ages and particularly for young people. And something like the, the play today shows that once we start those conversations at an earlier age, any issues that do arise um, within people's lives can be addressed. There's a huge amount of support locally. We run a significant amount of programs, projects and initiatives in our schools and we want to do more. So to open up kind of these types of conversations and this dialogue with the young people about the issues that are happening with them on a daily basis gives us the, the, the chance really to, to, to work with them to make sure that what we're delivering uh, really does address their needs when it comes to their own mental fitness.